toss it up, 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 toss it 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 Cheers to you, darling. Welcome to Toss It, it up. up. I am Audrey Turner. And I am Heidi Selexa. And we are here to toss, toss it, it up. up. Okay. <laughs> How are you? Oh my gosh. You know what? Time waits for no one. You know, I'll tell you what. When we're trying to park the car. Yes. Outside, here at a busy, very well-known TV studio here yes. in Los Angeles, California. Yeah. Uh, and there's no parking, and you have a show in five minutes, and then the phone's ringing and texting. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? What's going I on? I didn't want to call I'm you here. when you were not able to find parking, because you... I had barely found parking. I'd been circling for 15 minutes, and I didn't want to park in the lot, because it's so far away, and I have these pretty heels on. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. yes. Aren't they cute? Oh, I know you just want to show them legs to Jarvis so early in the morning, honey. Hello, Jarvis. Yes. It's 1 well, p.m. in my... the afternoon. <laughs> my toes. You. I can't, I'm not Wait. kicking that leg up this morning for Jarvis. No, no, no. <laughs> Let me see your shoes. Let me see your shoes. Bam. Aren't they cute? They're so yes. cute. Shoes are everything for women. They are everything. She's What's that? Shoes, yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. Honey, yes. yes. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> So hi. Well, hello. So, uh, we had our, our fingers and toes done together this together. week. Together. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't sparkly it? diamond and she silver. she didn't have time to do the sparklies on mine because she spent more time on Audrey's fingers. Really? Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, remember I had to go back the next day oh. and she finished the pedicure the next day. Well. You know that she had two <laughs> those two psychic girls, those little teenage, they're gypsies. They're real life gypsies. And they're very good. Just like that gypsy show on uh, the, the gypsy show. Wh whatever I just said. <laughs> the gypsy show. <laughs> hey, I haven't done my tongue twisters today, okay? Well, you did one right now. I, that so was a slur. Wonderful. That was a that was a, a gypsy throw. <laughs> well, you know, so here's the thing. She I know I'm list. always I'm Just always kidding. talking about time and how we shouldn't be late. It's like it was inevitable today. It was. I it was very difficult. And I was it. ready early. I was ready early. And yeah. I sat. I just sat down in my apartment for a second. Yeah. And I did a little Lord's Prayer. Well, and, and, then, and then I thank you. And then I grabbed the wine and my purse oh. and all of my thing and ran out the wine door. Wine and come. Jesus. There you go. It's mm -hmm. the, the blood, blood of, the of Lord. Jesus, honey. Yeah, I, I even ate crackers last night. Oh, the you bread know, too. I never eat crackers usually, but I felt like eating crackers. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so so then I, I I zip out of the house. Yeah. And I'm driving in circles around the lot, and finally I said, "Screw it! I'm going to do one of those illegal fast UEs." Oh. Um, because I didn't think there were any right cars. Right here, right now, like right before we came? I, yeah, uh, I did that, okay? And mm -hmm. so I tried to turn around to go get a spot. Yeah. And then, then there was a car coming. I went, whoops, and I slammed my brakes on. You know, in our little adorable, we both have the same car, mm -hmm. ironically. It's mm -hmm. the Lexus CT200 mm -hmm. hybrid. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, and we have the same color. It's very bizarre. And we got it before we knew each other. So, <sighs> isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? So, but but I did the little flippy thingy, and then I slammed my brakes because that car is so fast. It, it stopped. Is. And I backed up. I almost hit another car, which is You're odd. You're a good for me. driver, though. I'm a fantastic You're a good driver. I'm a fantastic driver. Yes. So then I I did it, and I finally found parking. And yeah. then I prayed so hard. I'm like, thank God it's right in front of the door because yeah. I have five inch heels on. Well, actually, it's. Mm, 30 steps from the door because I parked directly in front of you did illegally you your, uh -huh, oh there's yeah. no meter there I know did you did you have did you have the guard move your car yeah she, she's the first person who's ever asked the security guard here at the TV studio Honey, just, can you move can my you car? just move my car he's like guarding the door that there's no stalkers in it <laughs> here's you. Audrey can you move my car <laughs> and thank you got like major TV and film stars in here mm -hmm. and radio stars oh, thank you uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but let me finish. You know, the saying, other guard likes me, though. Does he? The Latin lover. Yeah. Everybody likes you, Heidi. Oh, you're so sweet. Mm -hmm. Everyone likes you, too. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Everyone likes you. But go ahead. So so anyway, so parking, it's nice if people, if they know somebody's on their way, don't call them when they're trying to park. Because well, if their hands not? are, or if they're in a hurry, their hands are on the steering wheel you because know, that's you slow why I them said, down. I'm not calling anybody, but I my phone automatically dialed you, and I dialed Jarvis. I was like, Jarvis, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, but you're, you just butt dialed. Me. Don't trip, Jarvis. She just I said, Jarvis, I'm coming. And his eyes got big. I mean, really, Jarvis, you think I'm going to come 
right now. Like, really? I mean, you're not that powerful. <laughs> I mean, I'm just staring over there looking at you, and you think I'm just going to loosen it up? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Toss It Up, okay? Toss you, you it just, up. Your booty tossed it up with me. It called me, and Jarvis and I listened yeah. to your booty call. Oh. Thank you. Usually it's after 1 a.m. and not after oh. 1 p.m. But Well, yeah. <laughs> Time so, changes. There you go. Yeah, so just don't call people when they're on their way. Who are you talking? Anybody out there You're in not the telling world, me. <laughs> she'll call She'll call and text, and I go, like, I can't answer. Jarvis, well, and I, the, I said, Jarvis, what are you supposed to do with your hands oh, if but you're here's in a hurry? The thing. <laughs> you're in a hurry. I didn't call you today. No, you did not. So, I mean, you know. No, it's not you. It's just in general. A general statement. It's okay. funny. Right so when you're don't say, everybody, don't be calling people. Everybody important that <laughs> you, you know, need to talk to calls you when you're on your way somewhere when you're late. Well, then you just have to, I don't talk to anybody. I ignore them. But I do make important phone calls. It's like, I'm a multitasker. Mm -hmm. I can do things in the White House if I need to, while I'm doing things at home. She can. While I'm cooking. While I'm, I can do like 20 things. I, I mean, it's what I do. I can be playing the piano and writing a song and what? You need what? It's over there. Mm -hmm. You know, so I can do a lot of I can of do things. a lot. When you have passion for something, man, you can toss it up. We toss it up, girl. There you go. Uh -huh. I wanted to say this, though. Time you can never get back. And never. friendships are very important. And your loved ones and your family ones. So if there's someone like you need to say that I love you or just even talk to them, just, you know, absorb that moment and talk to them and communicate because you may not get that moment back with them. Time is the essence of life. You can never get anything you can get everything back, but you can't get any time back. You can never get time. And you can get anything back because sometimes you can't even get your man back. If you have had a relationship. But you can get another man. You can. You can get a better man. You can get a better a better man. <laughs> Pearl Jam. Or was it Pearl Jam that sang that song? Oh. A better man. Yeah, never mind. Okay, don't worry. Yeah. Um, and speaking of a better man, honey, these women with New York, um, Atlanta Housewives. Oh, goodness gracious. Very ratchet. So yeah, so we're gonna start Very with the we're ratchet. gonna start with the reality shows this time. Well, you know, we're flowing. Let it flow. I'm like just my brother's saying, song says, I had a hard let time. Let it flow. Yeah, mm. your brother Art let it flow. is a phenomenal singer. Oh. Um, yeah, thank you. These women mm -hmm. Lou Ann used to be a duchess. She married someone and became a duchess. She's right? called Duchess. Well, not she's probably not anymore if she gets married again. She cannot be called Duchess if she remarried. You're no longer a Duchess. You can be a Duchess ex-Duchess, like an ex-wife Duchess, but you cannot marry someone and expect to be called a Duchess. Okay. You are Mr. Je Mrs. Jones or right. Mrs. Schwarzenegger. Or you know, <laughs> who was that? Like Schwarzenegger mixed with Maria, his right maid. I'm not sure. Anyway, what is the well, what, what exactly is the the, the Duchess title? How do you get to be a duchess? What is that constitute? Well, do you it's marry, not a princess. Do you marry, you don't marry a king because well, you would be a queen. Right. So if you're a duchess, I wonder if you Why are, don't you Google it while you have a computer? It's funny because I never, I named. I was thinking about that I before. named my pit bull that I raised a duchess, D-U-T-C-H-E-S-S. -S. And I see on the show, duchess, D-U-T-C-H-E-S-S -S, comes up right when she's like, I don't know what's going on well, with him Well, that's a different her. duchess. No, this was a duchess through... Oh. Uh, inheritance, inheritance of wealth. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, Lou Ann, honey, the Duchess, she is dating this guy named Tom. Mm hmm. Mm. Is Tom. he, is he, is he, a, is he, well, I don't like that name. Well, well, we'll wait till you find out what Tom mm -hmm. is up to. Okay. Now, her friend mm -hmm. Sonia and her other friend, um, let me see. It's Sonia and uh, gosh, I, I forgot her friend's can't even name. Think of but her name. it's not Kenya. It's I don't know. I forgot. No, well, it's not Kenya because that's it's, it's okay. Just go on. We don't need to know exact names because there's they they just Mary Lou. I do. I need to know exact names. See, you can't push me around. That's what you can't do. Sorry, was okay. I pushy? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're just live on the air. So. Well, well, yeah, exactly. And everything is live. Yes. So, I mean, it, it just flows like we need it to. Yeah, so go ahead. So just don't do that. I'm, I'm interested in the story. I'm going to give you the story, but don't do the go-ahead thing and don't do the, you know, let's okay. move it because okay. we're not moving nothing. Okay. Okay. I mean, we are moving something, but be gentle. So Sonia and um, Rona, Roma. OK, these are Luann's best friends. Now, mm -hmm. Sonia apparently had slept with Tom. Not, I don't think that's a very good best friend. Girl, listen, not last year, mm -hmm. not six months ago, but like just yesterday. And then uh, Rona, Aroma uh, slept with Tom, too. Friendship's over. No, they were sleeping with Tom before she got engaged to Tom. She wasn't even dating Tom. 
And in other words, she's staying with one of the girls. It's mm-hmm. either she's staying with um, Sonia or, or, or Rona. She's staying with one of them, and she goes out with Tom. Now, she knows that these girls have slept with him, but she doesn't come home and say, oh, I went out with Tom. So who's the sneak? Apparently, she is. Well, she thinks that she has the right, though, and the priority. You can even hear Why? It. She thinks that right. she's the owner better of the them. man. She's the owner. Yes, she she's thinks she's better than them. Just a little Even bit better. Though just they a little slept bit better. With this man first. Mm-hmm. Okay. So anyway, but they slept with him, but he's in a relationship with her now. But right, he's still sleeping around too. Oh, so anyway, right. why are men such sluts? They are and whores. Can you and tell us, Jarvis? Jarvis, Jarvis knows he just won't leak the info. He's not a slut. The mail code. No, he's not, he but I'm sure he, he could be a slut if so he girl, wants to. So, girl, let me tell you. I'm trying to move my microphone if you hear noises. Okay. okay. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, uh, uh, my goodness, you know what? Um, keep. <laughs> I, I've lost. Can, I've lost. We're, yeah. Okay. So, anyway, Tom, he is out of control. So Bethany received an email from one of her friends with pictures of Tom kissing some other chick in the uh, Regency Hotel. Why is anybody even t- continuing to date him? They just have to walk down the street and go meet another guy. Well, no. Well, so here's the thing. And so Duchess is heartbroken. I mean, Bethany is heartbroken over what she has seen. So she confronts Luann. And this is what Luann says to mm-hmm. Tom. Check this out. Luann says, Tom. Why did you do this? I mean, and even at the Regency in front of our friends? Is that how you confront somebody who's been sleeping with the people you're living with? Sleeping with people (laughs) while he's engaged to you? If you're mad enough. But you just say, uh, if you're mad enough, then you're not mad enough. Because she just said, why are you doing this? And even you're doing it in the Regency with people that we know. Because she's trying to get him to stop. Oh, you know about this, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mm, Experience, honey. Keep talking. Mm. So... My thing is, would you just say, Tom, why are you doing this in front of people we know at the Regency, too? Yeah, Tom, in front of everybody. I know that I just embarrassed you and you're going to you know, hate me for embarrassing you when you're already sleeping behind my back. My question but is... But I want to embarrass you some more and be right. Would you accept Tom back? Would you go ahead and marry him when you know that he... No. Oh. No, I would not. No. <laughs> I was doing the attitude with it. I was right. being a character. Sorry. When you know that he slept with your your friends, nope. I mean your day to day friends. Uh uh-uh. uh You know, could you could you imagine being with somebody that you how 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 do you even get past that? And who do you choose at that point? Yeah, well, your best friends or Tom. And how well, Tom's a billionaire. Are... Tom's filthy rich. Well, it doesn't matter. Thank though. you. Love is love. Like, you don't marry for money. I'm glad to hear you a say that, A lot of Heidi. people say that they marry for money or, you know, you can't have it all. Yeah, but, but you can. Whatever your essence is, the, usually the most important thing really is love. It really is love. If but not, don't be broke. Don't be broke. But if they're going to marry a millionaire and they don't love him, then, then or buy, a billionaire. Buy millionaire. You no, know, they'll cheat on him. Yes. That's like why you're so doing. much cheating is going on. Well, honey, thank you. I just wanted to hear what you felt about yeah. that. Because I would not let Tom run around like such a or I would actually want to get new friends. Really? Also. Probably. They, if, no, if they you, were friends for a long time. It's well, Tom. Okay, okay. Men toss it up. Well, yeah, well yes. And they, they stay friends after they, they've slept with yes, someone. Yes, they do. Yes, right? they do. And right, then, and then when they walk into the room and they go like, and they're looking at the girl and they go like this, "Hey, man, hey, dude, come <gasps> on, pong me." Got hey, that, how right? You right, doing? right, Jarvis. Mm-hmm. Can Does we that see mean, that on camera? Yeah, let's, Let's see that. Put your hand Here we go. Hey. Mm, got that. Got uh-huh. you. Got your back. But they don't mm-hmm. say it. They just be like, "Hey, brother." Uh-huh. Hey, Amen. And you know what? Are those the girls that they've slept with? Because yeah. there are certain cultures that speak differently. And like, if you do surfer town, like if you go to the beach, what do they do? They're like, "Hey, what's up, man?" Like oh. that, and they just nod their head. That okay. means, and then if if a guy does that, if you see a guy do that to a girl, mm-hmm. like say you guys are all out at a bar on the beach or something, uh-huh. uh, he's either has banged her or has oh. something has happened or is going to. This uh. is surfer lingo, okay, dude. You get, uh. you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, mm-hmm. rad, okay. okay. You know what I mean? It means, you know, it, you know, dude. Like if she weren't there, like I would hit the other one. Whoa. Yeah, that's what that's what that means. That's it's the, the same. No, it's the same definition of what you said. Yeah, it's, the it's same just said in a different way. But then you have some guys who are like mafia kind of guys, and they may go like this. 
Oh yeah, you know what those little they things They just do a little scratch. That and means... the thing is is scratches are obvious to some people like baseball players yeah. when they do that scratch cuz I was a, you know, varsity softball player. Very Oh, were you? And soccer, okay. very good. I know when my Hit coach did certain ones, things. Yeah. But guess what? what? The other team starts picking up on what these signals are. They're not yeah. stupid. Well, yeah. You have to like do something like pick your eyelashes or something oh, that's not obvious. That's real not obvious. But when is it when the mafia does that and you can't tell if it's just no, an itch. No, you don't know what they're doing. You don't know yeah, what these mafia dudes are I, Dated a, I dated a mafia. Did you? Yeah. Mm. Two of them. Wow. You know, I am a little Sicilian, you know. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, let me tell you what's going on in the news, honey. Oh, yes, please. Because I have other stuff to tell you. Do you? I can't wait. But I want to hear what you said. Well, you know, Mel B from the Spice Girls um, and also of America's Got mm-hmm. Talent is saying that there's abuse allegations going on. She is th- saying that uh, her man physically abused her and mentally abuses her and Ooh. has control over all the money and has threatened to put out their sexual photos, honey, and videos. And how long has she been saying this is going on for? Look at his face and look at her face. Now, you can tell a sensitive person by their face, okay. believe it or not. What are you saying? I don't know that he looks that sensitive. I would have to be more than Are you being likely, on his side? No, I'm being on her side actually because yeah. I I don't think she would come out with this unless she unless they've split up. They had some huge fight and there is an issue with divorce. So she's yeah. starting to kind of like the Brad and Angelina thing, you start planting seeds before the big bomb blows well, up. I don't know. I mean, it's actually out, but the fact that he, you know, is abusing her, he's controlling the money. I mean, these things do happen. Oh, well, yeah. You know that. I know that. Yeah. And also, he's not the one making the money. Look at her face. He punched her in the face. Oh, did he punch her Yes. Then? Look, See? that's a bruise. So these allegations of a... Of and that's a, wait a not... Minute. Oh, so go ahead. Go ahead. A bruise? <laughs> Here we go, baby. <laughs> I love you. You know I do. Heidi, don't be a bruise in her. No, Heidi, because I do it too. I and mean, you know what? And it's almost... The, it's always like somewhere around that time of... Look, now you're messing me up. It's like around that time of the month. You kind of lose the sink of a bruise or a bu- uh, No, it's a bruise. Oh, I, I know it's... But you didn't say a bruise. No, I said that's a bruise. Well, okay. That's I'll what go I said. with that. Yes, that is a bruise. Yeah, like that's a na- he punched her in that's the face. That's terrible. And Ladies. that's not that's either a bite. That actually could be a Look at that. It could actually be a bite. Oh my gosh. That's I know. Terrible. I've been watching the forensic shows Have and you? All- <laughs> oh, that looks like a bite. And the thing is is it could have been can- sex, too. Well, it's not a day old though. That's probably like four to five days. Look oh. at the coloring on the bruise. When you get a new bruise. It's kind of lighter. Yeah, and then it then turns. it gets dark. Yeah, purple, and then it lightens purple, 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 like yeah. a yellow purple. Yeah. And then when it heals, it starts turning like a yellow purple. Oh. Like the big one I had on my calf for some reason. Oh. When I was moving stuff around. But that the thing is, is you can tell. Like, yeah. why would she have a bruise like that right at that area in her face? Yeah, so that's what's going on I with that her. situation. And that sucks. You know? you know what? I think men should be... So much, so much emotional abuse goes on. Why are people being physically abusive? Well, because they can't control their anger. But why are they, if are they hurting them 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 enough with their verbal abuse? No, Is that not, not enough. enough. They have to. They see they hate themselves so much they exactly. want to abuse other people. Yeah. Well, it's not about the person. It's more about them. They're so angry. They have all this resentment. All this stuff built up, and they lash out. They if they. They don't feel like they've abused you verbally enough. They're going to punch. And also, if you let a guy do that more than three times, you become a doormat. He's going to continue doing it. Uh, more than three? How about more than one? Well, exactly. But they say the three is the law. Yeah, because some people law. go, I love you and you I can't, can't go. You know, I, you know. Yes. So there's a lot of stuff going on so with that, So that's girl. unfortunate. That's yeah. unfortunate. And did you hear what, uh, that, you know, uh, so Jennifer Aniston has been calling and texting uh-huh. uh, Brad Pitt a lot. Because what? apparently Justin is saying he never loved her. Wait a minute. Stop back. Th- yeah. yeah, back that one up. And oh. this is just different, various. I love me some Brad Pitt. Go ahead. Oh, honey. God, isn't he cute? He is. My dad loves him. Oh. So apparently the new the news is, is that, you know, they are in contact and it's fine. Really? And uh, Kate Hudson is very upset and has walked away because he won't marry her. Oh. Well, now, this is bizarre. We'll take wait, a caller. Oh, yeah, we, we have a caller. caller. Yeah. Hi, welcome to Toss It Up. Hello. Uh, hi, hi, caller. Hi, you're with Audrey Turner I, I w- and Heidi Selexa. Heidi Selexa. Hi. What's your name? Just start speaking. Don't be I'm shy. Terry. Do you have a cat on your tongue or something? Sorry. He- no, I'm Terry, and uh, I just tuned into your program, and, and you were talking about anger and, oh. and uh, domestic abuse. Yes. Hi, Terry. 
and I just wanted to comment on it. Okay. Yeah, please do. Uh, we would love to hear about that. Okay. Men, when we grow up, we watch our fathers. We watch our fathers, what they do to our mothers. Mm -hmm. Some men come home on the week on Fridays and he's drunk and he beats his wife. Uh -huh. Or sometime during the week, the wife says something that he doesn't like. He slaps her. Uh -huh. Our child, our children are sitting there watching us. And this is the, this is the way that young kids view how they're supposed to talk to their, uh, to women. This is how we do women. It's a learned behavior from when we we're growing up and, so, and we take that behavior into young adulthood and adulthood. So when we get into a relationship and a woman says something we don't like, we respond to them the way our father responded to our mother and we slap them, we hit them. Oh. And then on the flip side of that, yeah, mom always stays and she stays yeah. because she says, Oh, he's not going to do that again. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to change. He promised me he wouldn't hit me. Yeah. And finally, something really bad happened where uh, a bone is broken, oh. uh, where she has to go to the hospital, and then, then it's reported. Then it starts coming out, yeah. Uh, domestic, abuse is, uh, domestic abuse has been going on in this country for years. Yeah. You know, if you think back, because I'm an old man, uh -huh. if you think back, men were the breadwinners of the family. The woman stayed home. And she took care of the kids. Yes. The man was the strong part when it came to the family as far as discipline. And when our kids seen how the man disciplined, this is the uh, behavior that they took into adulthood. Yeah. And I think that you know, was more so, Terry, is, more like, so in the 30s and the 40s. It was really, really strong mm -hmm. back then. And so men and with certain cultures. Yeah. Men didn't like to see their women uh, taking of, you know, the front uh, forefront as far as bringing home the bacon. And it's just shut up and stay home and cook. And they were very abusive. But do you feel that? Absolutely. Do you feel Absolutely. that like, yeah, but it trickles down to generations. That's what he said. And so has this affected you in any way, Terry? Have you had any experiences with this yourself, personally? Well, I run a nonprofit, and we do a lot of anger management and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And so I know, I know where it begins. Yeah. How it ends. So do you? Like I said before, do you it's a learned behavior. Mm -hmm. Anything that you learn, you can unlearn. This is true. So you're saying that people can learn how to take sense. their anger out somewhere else in another way or deal with their anger instead of actually getting physically and verbally violent and abusive. Absolutely. Uh, point in case. Mm -hmm. If Audrey, if you're angry, yes, your body's going to tense up. Yeah. You're going to get your head's going to start swelling. You're going to get really pissed off. Yes. That's when you see that sign coming. You walk away. You... Go into the bathroom. Throw some water on your face. Yes. Come back out. You know, talk about it. This is what we we try to tell people. We try to teach people yes. that when you see these clues coming up uh, of anger, that you walk away. Yeah, you know, my husband. Why get into Turner. a domestic situation? Yeah, Terry. Go ahead. Yeah, my husband Ike Turner. Yeah. Well, when he was growing up, like you know, he was born in 1930. One, one, but when he was growing up, you know, back then in that time, there was a lot of abuse, and he watched his mother. I mean, he suffered in seeing a lot of abuse with color, and then in the home, and then when his father actually died from abuse of racial, uh, racial uh, things, um, then he watched his mother remarry, and then the man was an alcoholic. And he would come home and abuse her mm -hmm. and he'd be drunk. And, you know, I could see this as a young boy growing up and he experienced this and he watched yeah. it and he he watched his mother not do anything. And then she finally done something, you know, and then she got rid of him. But as he gotten older, once, you know, when something happened, he started doing drugs and and the way he his anger came out was through violence. You know, he'd blow up. He'd tense up. You can see it in his face. His whole personality would change. Yeah, right? How does that make them feel afterwards? And so um, it, it, it's uncontrollable. Right. And then after an incident would happen, yeah. he'd break down and he'd be in so much pain and he'd cry. He don't, he'd be like, that wasn't me. I don't remember it. This wasn't me. And so, uh, Terry, I was able to get him help. Because to to balance that mm -hmm. anger and that chemical imbalance that took over his brain from depressed, from things that were suppressed within his soul and in his mind and his spirit and abuse that he received. So 
I had to get him right. uh, first anxiety, uh, anger management, and then a small tablet to help him balance his brain. And he was so, so happy with his life after that. I mean, before me, I mean, you know all mm-hmm. the stuff that he went through. So. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, right. how, but, but, but I, have a, right. I have a question for you. I understand, um, I understand that, that it is a learned behavior. I also think, however, that um, sometimes people use that as an excuse to become abusive and manipulative to you because they don't like what they're hearing or where something is going and they're trying to control you. So in that case, how does somebody who's on the opposite end of abuse handle them? Because I don't have any tolerance for abuse. Like at all, like no physical abuse, uh, emotional abuse. And I call people on it. But it took me a long time to figure out that that was actually what they was going. I was like, where do, what are they saying? Where are they coming from? Like, but they go so deep and so far and they explosive and then they start creating. So stuff can you and, answer that, Terry? Yeah. How does that like how, how does somebody on the opposite hand and deal with somebody who is going in that place? Who's to, being abused? You know, who's going to become physically abusive? Their face changes their their. How, how do you handle that like what are you supposed to say if you're in a wife being abused like how are you supposed to handle a husband that i mean if you're a wife being a, if, if you're a wife being abused abused and you know you're being abused wouldn't it kind of dawn on you that i don't have to take this anymore Absolutely. i mean just like you i don't know which one of you ladies said it but you you don't tolerate. that was heidi no, that was heidi women tolerate um pardon me that was heidi speaking that i was telling you about yeah. ike turner my husband oh, before oh, that. okay yeah right women tolerate a lot of abuse uh, point in case, let's go back to the O.J. Simpson case. Okay. Mm-hmm. We didn't have domestic abuse until O.J. in that situation jumped up. No, no, no. We, had, we had state it. senators Terry, passing laws. We had domestic abuse. Oh, we had we it. just weren't it aware. Wasn't Thank it you. wasn't recognized. Thank you. It wasn't recognized. Okay. <clears throat> it wasn't recognized. Okay. Because now, if the wife calls the police and mm-hmm. say, anything, he hit me, <sighs> he he's he yelled at me. Mm. Somebody goes to jail. Right. And it's usually I've the guy. That. Uh-huh. And this is the system that we have now. You make that phone call, somebody's going to jail. And, and, and you know, nine out of 10 cases is the guy. No, but Terry, can I say cases, something the, to you? The woman goes you to know, jail too. Yeah, well, here's the sure. thing. Sometimes the woman will go to jail for the guy so that he doesn't actually go to jail. Uh, like in my case, well, when I when I got into this altercation, yeah, yeah. I, I went to jail for him, like for oh. two hours. Oh, you did? Well, yeah. He, asked, he said, honey, would you, 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 you know, yeah. I did it. I can't. So anyway, yeah. um, I'm like, okay, you better be down here in two hours. I'm not, pl-, you know. Yeah. And so, of course, he was down there in, in two hours or whatever. And, you know, not whatever, but he was there and I got out. But here's the thing. Women feel sometimes Audrey, that they, that, it was wrong. That game- that game has changed. I know it was you wrong. I shouldn't have ever done that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, you're saying the police won't uh, let you do Sheila it. Sheila Kuehl. Yeah. Sheila Kuehl was a state senator, uh, and she introduced the bill for domestic violence uh-huh. after the OJ case. Uh-huh. And what happened is, they don't need your husband. Like when you went to jail, yeah. they didn't need him to prosecute you. They, the state takes over prosecution. Yes. Yeah. You know, because they yeah. Take over, uh, yeah. once you're wrapped up in a domestic violence case, yeah. the district attorney's office makes the decision whether or not they're going to proceed, whether or not they can convict you. Well, Terry minds didn't they go that far. It was so husband. covered up. It was like way covered up. I mean, like really like swept under the, you know, but had the district attorney or someone found out about it, it would have been a major problem. I know that for mm-hmm. a fact. And also yeah. he was like Turner. So maybe that was, was yeah. that easier to, well, you know, people, you know, and the sad thing about it is people tend to favor uh, celebrities, you know? Yeah. And and they, that's and then that gives them more permission to get even more violent. I think I think if 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 if, if they think they can get away with it there, they could do a little bit more as if they were somebody who didn't think they can get away with it. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's the society we live in. It is. You know, is. we are uh, are starstruck. You know, if a star, something happens to a star, you know, we, we want to listen. We want to gossip. Yeah. You know, we want to see what that. happens. Yeah. And if, if it goes to a jury trial, uh, chances are, if, if, uh, regard, uh, chances are, if the, if the charges are small, they're going to walk. Oh, definitely. They're chances are, they're definitely going to walk. I'll give you a walk. classic, I'll give you a classic example yeah. of what I'm talking about. Yeah. So unfortunate. I had a client mm-hmm. who was in the kitchen with his wife. Yeah. He asked her to make a piece of pizza. Mm-hmm. 
and he was holding a baby, and she told him, "No, oh my god, make it yourself." Because she had a baby. He hit her in the face. (gasps) No, no, he was holding a baby in his hand, Uh in his arm. Uh huh. He he hit the baby. I'm having sorry. He He hit hit her. her Yeah. In the face and broke her jaw. Oh my god. Then he turned around and he hit her again and he broke her arm. Well, he was charged with major felony charges. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, Terry, look at this. And he's holding the baby and he's passing that that energy on to the baby. And like you said earlier, it's passed it's, down because exactly. children watch okay. what their parents do. Babies do pick up stuff. Uh, you know? Okay, but so let me finish the story. Okay, okay. So he goes to court. Mm-hmm. He's charged with five or six felonies. I mean, yeah. This girl is his wife. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it was his wife. Yeah. And guess what? Guess what the judge gave him? Okay. I don't guess know. what happened in court? What? With five felonies. <clears throat> it should be something pro- very, very he got bad. Probation. <gasps> oh. What was that? Probation. He got probation. Oh. Wow. Probation. Okay. What kind of family was it? Was Not it- because of him. Mm-hmm. Because of who his father was. Okay. Very prominent that's why figure. I was asking. Yeah. Yeah. That's why so I, I asked. Uh, right, and I don't want to really get into yeah, that, but yeah. it was because of who his father yeah. was. And then he came to me, he says, I ain't got to come to you no more because it's taken care of. And then he told me what happened. <laughs> yeah. Of well, I see that you're I, very I said, heartfelt. You just got away with it. Yeah. This is something that really touches you. And wow, thank you so much for calling in and, and letting our viewers listen yeah. of how anger is handled and abuse and you know, the transition, the transition and the levels that it goes through. Mm-hmm. You have so many stars like Halle right. Berry. Uh, I mean, Mel B. There's there's so many. But also it happens in like everywhere in every neighborhood. There's some form of abuse. So people really need to. What it boils oh, down to is that, you know, seek help, get psychological help and anger management because you don't want to end up killing someone and then your life is gone. You know, um, but and then what about the families that you've hurt by taking away someone's life or even just ruining them and and and, and with the violence? It's it's a no good doer for both parties. So you're never going to win, even if you love abusing your wife. You're never going to in the end. But thank you. You're never going to win. But yeah. thank you for calling. Thank you so thank much, you for Terry, calling. for calling you're, in. And you're welcome, ladies. Yeah, you have, have a, a good day. great day. Thank, thank, thank you, Terry. You. So here's the key: abuse get. Anger management, get that under control and also seek uh, some kind of balance to get your your mind right, to keep, get that chemical right. imbalance back in order. Also, it's becoming know? so fond, like so looked down on by people when they say, oh, he, you know, hits his girlfriend or his wife. You know what I mean? It, people actually look down on you. Yeah, so, no one wants to see that. That's you know, terrible. say to the guy, hey, people aren't liking you because of what you're doing. And eventually maybe he'll get the point. Yeah, yeah, but next show. Anyway, uh, that was so, y- yes. That wasn't a show, honey. That was like real life. No, I know. You know, no, I know. But I'm saying the next show. What I was going to say was what, the little, honey? the little, the little women of. Uh, Aww, what you got on those little women? Little women of L.A. That I think one of them's dealing with that too. Oh, really? Yeah, it's either Atlanta or L.A. But yeah, there's so. I mean, it's all over the place. But uh, little women of L.A. Oh God, there's so. There is. So what happened with those women this time? She's just crying that the guy is cheating on her. Okay, so we're back to cheating. It's all about that. And the thing is, is like, she knows it. Which one is this? It's the cute little blonde girl. Okay. Tony's favorite. Tony Sweet, who runs the network here. I forgot her name. Because I just started watching Little Women of L.A., so I don't know the whole thing. Okay. But I just know I sat there and I stared at the TV going, oh, my God, they're so pretty in the face, you wouldn't know that they're three feet tall. Right. You don't know. (laughs) And they're adorable. But they're literally like, you just want to pick them up and go, get in your power and don't deal with guys that are idiots because you're three feet tall and you don't feel good about yourself. Yeah. And it's so hard to put people, pick them up and say, this is where I think you should be. This is where you, you want to pick be. them up because they're so tiny. You well, think you can, but you can't. <laughs> you know, it's like you're picking up 200 pounds. Solid rock. I'm not saying that they're like 200 pounds, but they're <laughs> really heavy. I mean, well, because everything's condensed, but that's not my point. Oh, my point but here's is the thing. spiritually or emotionally, yeah. pick like a plant. You yeah. want to replant them. You want to replant them. it. You want to replant them. Yeah. And that just goes to show you, no matter how tall, no matter how short, we all go through the same <laughs> crap, right? 
<laughs> we do relationship stuff. Well, guess what, honey? Okay. Ah, your guy, Richard Simmons, has appeared. <gasps> I love Richard Simmons, so, and I'm so glad he's, he's back. back. Yes. He, yeah, he's been taking care of, Well, give me the story. Well, supposedly he's gotten this huge merchandising yeah. deal, and he said he would be seen, um, we would be seeing him soon, okay? I love How about him. that? I love him. I he love him. is coming back, girl, with his own studio. Yoga. And his new love for yoga. Um, so when people um, said he's disappeared for three years, he was humming. He was channeling and himself, that, honey. So he's going to come back like Buddha. It's oh. going to be, it's going to be. That's a big change. It's going to be Buddha Simmons. Or Buddha Simmons. Richard, Richard Buddha. How about I don't Yogi know. Simmons? I'll tell you what, what. He's got the nicest legs in the entire world. Does he? I bit them when I was 12. Oh, you bit that I leg? I remember I you said, saying that. Oh, God. They were smooth and tan and mm. At that time, I think tanning spray, like tanning salons, had yeah. just been like super. So I knew he had been tanning in a salon. Look at that body. But Look at those God, legs. God, his legs, man. They And I knew he was gay, um, even though I didn't really understand that word when I was 12. Yeah. I just knew, but I didn't care. I said- He was just so bubbly, he right? He thought I was the cutest little thing. Aww. And he kept saying to my mom, I said, can I bite your, your thigh? He goes, bite it, honey. And, he, <laughs> and I bit it, and he took a photo of it. It was Aww. really cute. He was so cute. I don't know where the photo is, but he's cute. I like him a lot. He's a good guy, and he. But well, he's I'm learned happy to take care of himself because he's another one who put too much energy into other people. Yeah, and even well, that's though, his job when you're doing exercises but, but, and stuff but like that. Forty four hundred million bazillion people. You only are one person. He got drained. Well, he did his calling, and it, he yeah. took a little break. And now we're he's humming hum. everyone. Yeah, to you know hum their own space. Yes. That's what so I mean. So that's good news for our little big old Richard, Richard Simmons. Richard, <laughs> little big, whatever. Yeah, a little big man. So, man, yes. new, uh, can I say my new show that I've yes, been honey. addicted to? Yeah. The Pawn Stars. Oh, that knocked me This out. is insane. What about the They're stars? a family, oh, okay? This off. show is, it's really good. If you've ever wanted to wonder what's in your parents' house that is worth money, yeah. the antiques or... Yes. or like 1984 computer. Yeah. Oh. Which my dad saves. Okay, he's not a Pictures. hoarder, but he does have his area where he saves things, saves things, saves things. He does. Oh yes. What did he save? Like, and so think? I have to be careful not to do that because sometimes I will save like, uh, you know, I'll go to Bed Bath and Beyond or Target and I'll buy those containers like women do and put stuff in there. And then, but then when I don't want the container, it doesn't fit right there anymore. I'll move it, but I won't throw it out. The yeah. reality of it is, is then it clutters my space, and then yeah. I becomes I sit there all night and go, what do I do with it? Instead of using your time for something else, it's because yeah. it really needs to get out of my face. Well, I don't you, like yeah. things in my face. You don't want to be a hoarder. So the Pawn Stars have this uh, new thing where, like, they're going into people, like, who the, these. there's so many people who hoard, or they collect antiques, or whatever they do. Guess what? A 1808, uh, it was the year of 1808, uh -huh. a coin it's like maybe one of the coins that like they said it was like a peasant got when they did work for the entire day. It's like, here's your oh, coin. Uh -huh. One little coin. Oh. It's just sold for $31,500. Your dad had it? No, it's oh. on Pawn Stars. Oh. And so the the How coin cool was, was from the century 18, it was from 1808, so it's over 200 years old. See, you should never throw away your old coins either. Never, because then they were talking about like how... You know, pennies are going to go out. Yeah. So we give our pennies away. That's why they say... Always give our pennies away. Count, no, but count, count your, pennies. your pennies. Pennies are now going to be... Uh, uh, going to be worth a lot of money because they're not going to make pennies anymore. And I'm always tossing those pennies. I better save those pennies. Yeah. So pick them up off. Find a what is it? Find find a, a lucky penny. penny. Never pass it over. Oh, I've never heard that one. I made it up oh. when I was a kid, and I wish I didn't because it's like find a lucky penny. Never pass it over. You'll want it again someday. You know, you did, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's like cute, that. but you're not going to want that doggone penny another day. Find a well, penny, never pick know. it up, and all day you'll have good luck. But money is oh, also... Oh, find another penny, yeah, pick, pick it, it up, up all day, and then you'll have good luck. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Jarvis. Yeah, I know he knows how to work us. Well, Jarvis, we didn't know how your uh, week went. What's up, Jarvis, honey? Chocolate jar. What you doing? Jarvis... <laughs> How you been? Jarvis counts his yeah, pennies. Yeah. Okay. Jarvis used to work at a bank. He counts his pennies. He counts that money. He's high. good with money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is he? Yeah. Jarvis, you we, good with money? We gab on the phone. Yeah. 
And we yeah. talk. I, I pick Get his brain. Oh, that's right. You pick his brain? I pick his brain. Oh. He's, he says, you find a penny, you pick that up, and you better store that away. Stro- oh. Stockpile. Stockpile them Stockpile pennies. those pennies. Because those are going out. Those are going to be worth a lot of money. Yeah. I don't know what they're going to do in place so of the beautiful. pennies, but Tear they're not the going to make any more pennies. So especially the copper well, ones. The copper ones know. are the, the, the ticket. So like in, in 10 years, yeah. those pennies from a certain year are going to be worth a lot they're going to be worth more than a penny they're okay. going to be worth like a thousand dollars we better get a big water bottle one of just those start, and start saving the pennies, pennies in there you yeah. know what i mean yeah so and then another another uh thing that they're having on the problem on the show is with pawn stars they're so funny it says family it's kind of like they kind of yeah. act like the dynasty ducks and they're really <laughs> rude to their clients oh people walk in and they're like this is a baseball shirt that somebody wore from you know the 1960s the famous baseball player in the game and they're like, we don't believe you. Uh, well, they can't. How could they believe them? No, but then you'll see photos and yeah, stuff. But the yeah. funny thing is, is they're getting bad reviews online. Oh, really? Because they are so uh, rude to people that people are saying, oh, I don't like. And they're so. So then they had to bring in a coach that teaches them to oh, learn to people's nice. personalities. And they say, oh. when if you're a dolphin, you need to know what you are. I guess there's like five animals. We all. Okay, there's the Chinese a shark. Thing? I don't know. It's not like that. It's like you're a dolphin, a shark, or uh, I'm a dolphin, but a dolphin, a shark, oh. or a, a rabbit. I don't know what it is. That's the Chinese thing. That's not it, though. But the then rabbit. It's so it was something. Maybe I just made that up. We I don't did. know what animal it is, but it says okay. you got to know when your customer walks into the store. If yeah. you want to be good at sales, yeah. you have to know what they are. Well, you got to be nice to them first you of gotta all. You got to know if, and, and, yes, but he's rude. The guy, the old man that owns the, the father. Yeah. It's funny, rude, but but he's getting really bad reviews online with the customers, and uh, so they had to bring in a coach that said, "Let's work on your tactics and your personality." And it was hysterical Definitely. because he goes like this: He goes, "I just don't think you guys know how to talk to the older generation." Okay. Okay. And he was saying that he's Respect, like he's honey. trying to say that the older generation, you you don't. You, there's a certain lingo between men of the older generation. Well, they demand respect. Yeah, and some of them are. Not just that, but the way that you talk, like he's like, why didn't you negotiate more with him? Okay, you need to know your. So he's oh, like, then he know says, what you're working with. Yeah. So he said to his son, he's like, you don't know how to negotiate. Why you didn't? They talk rude to each other. Apparently. Yeah, it's 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 abusive. I think Speaking they all them, need to go. <laughs> they all need to go to some family. What do you call that? Therapist. Dynasty Duck is a, a little bit abusive too. You know what that old guy on there? They're like, Dad, we're firing you. You don't even know how to run a restaurant, and you made us open up a restaurant here. He's like, oh Well, Dad, I can't get fired. I'm the father. And they're oh. like, Dad, you're fired. You cannot work you're- in the restaurant. <laughs> He's sitting there like ordering pie and coffee. And the dad is the one who started the restaurant. <laughs> it's so funny because you see like, they, if it was right, like the kids are trying to say, mom and dad, you're wrong. I need to check this out. I'm going to watch it's, the- These are funny. Is it Pawn it's, Star it's, or Pawn? Pawn Stars. Oh, okay. Okay. Your sister told I, me about it and I got so oh, into it. But I may have can, something I want to take to Pawn Star. You know what? You could look in your house and you'd be surprised. I have things. I don't know if I want to give them up though. Yeah, I know because a lot of it's with you and Ike Turner and- well, yeah, but you know, be a fun thing to take it and say, okay, here you go. What do you want to do? And I walk out and say, no, there you can't have it. There are some things like I, you know, how you can't get time back. You can't. You, you can't get that. You can't get. You can't get back. that back. So don't but, give away what you would ever think you may want back. Yeah, but you also can't take it to the grave either. You can't. Well, you're not going to the grave anytime soon. I'm not. No time soon. I'm going to be here a hundred years. But here's the thing. Um, can I get some millions for it? <laughs> Party up on that money, honey. Well, yeah, if you think you can, but I would wait until it, it you know, you can get millions. <laughs> yeah, for it. I don't know what there's I can get right for. There's a right time to sell something, and there's a too long time to hold oh, it. Oh, you know, and you know what? That show last night what? I watched was Black Ink. Oh, what happened? Tell me quickly. I'll tell you what. See, it was hard. It no. was real hard for me to watch oh. that show. There was a lot of fighting. Yeah, there was more Cat than fighting. It was more than normal, though. Yeah, it was painful. Uh, honestly. I actually started watching the show for three minutes and I said, I can't put this in my house or my energy. I need okay. to turn the show off. Okay, good for it you. It was that bad. Sage I, that house. And I did. I bought the sage. And mm-hmm. guess what? what? The sage burned. You know, you said the, the, the whole entire sage stick burned in, in five minutes when I walked in the other room. Oh. That's how much negativity I felt coming through the tree. <laughs> you burned now up a I tree. have no more sage. You burned the it, tree. It was an entire sage stick. Look at that sage stick. That burned to the it's pieces huge, in yeah. a matter of five minutes. Yeah. And guess what? It was sitting. I put it in tinfoil. Oh. And I was like, I got to get out of the room. It actually drove me so crazy watching that show because of the fights mm-hmm. that it scared me. Oh, well, let that go, honey. You don't let me watch them. I can handle those fights. Yeah, I, <laughs> I said, I don't want to. 
I just said no. It's because I was like, I need myself to focus on. Yeah, yeah. My well, my chi. Well, okay. Don't worry. I, I love watching uh, Black Ink, Chicago Ink, uh, a lot of Housewives, and all these good little shows. I'll bring you the toss. Oh it no, up, no, school, I, I like that too. I'll I like that to too. You. But sometimes I need them to center on the inside and not be so on the outside. Well, they can't. That's why they're on the show. They bring drama, and people love the drama. Perhaps our caller should be their therapist. And Maybe put them so. In he was very good. He was very good. You know, to call. I want to say to t- uh, Terry, thank you for calling in. And uh, anger management is a lot of things, or, or or violence. People don't understand where it came from, but you put it out there, and you let people know it is a learned behavior. Parents, watch what you do in front of your kids, because your kids they won't do what you say. Mm-mm. They more so will watch what you do. And Terry, mm-hmm. we thank you so much for calling in. We send you lots of love. Thank you, Terry. Yeah, I, I should go home and mop the floor like my mother does. A compulsive cleaner. Just kidding. Do you see? It's a lovely Saturday. I mean, a Thursday afternoon. Okay. And I should not be cleaning. But I this Saturday, I sat there. I if said, it turns you on, clean. Why am I cleaning on a Saturday afternoon? Well, sometimes you clean because the energy feels like you want to clean stuff up. And, and once you do it, bam, good things happen. It's not yeah, that your house is Yeah, it's moving everything around. Yeah. It's but, not that your house is necessarily really, really dirty. But when you clean, it's like a spiritual thing, right? It is. See? But there has to be a time to stop. Well, you ought to know when to stop, honey, when you fall on that couch and can't move. <laughs> yeah, but you should never get to that point. Well, There's yeah. other things to do with your life. That's like, right. I'm like, I want to go on a date and make out with a man. Well, we got to get Jarvis to hook you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can walk down well, the street. Well, I am Audrey and Turner. Toss it up, and I'm Heidi Selexa. And thank you for joining us on Toss <laughs> It Up. Toss Ooh. it up. I didn't toss say it up. Toss it up. Toss it up. Oh, toss it up. Toss it up. Come on, toss it up. Toss it up. Toss it up. Toss it up. Ooh, toss it up. Toss it up. Come on, toss it up. Toss it up. Yeah, toss it up. Toss it up. Toss it up. Yes, honey. Yes. Toss it up. Toss it up. Oh, honey. Toss it up.